Hello and welcome to GoGeeko.com. In this video, we will cover how to export or migrate your Informatica data quality mappings or code into the Power Center. Generally, what I have seen is that developers develop the code within IDQ but when it comes to make it production ready or to run it in production they deploy the mappings into the power center once you deploy the mapping into the power center then it's the same game as you play with power center like you create your mappings in power center and then you create your sessions and then deploy your sessions in the existing workflows or create new workflows with those sessions so the whole idea with IDQ generally is develop the code within IDQ and then export the mappings which you have created within IDQ to Power Center and then create the sessions for those mapping and then appropriate workflows. So let's see that in action. So here is my developer tool and I have a mapping called M Customer Export in the customer folder so let's export that to power center so right click export you can deploy to a file and then you can import the file too but in this case i will directly export the mapping into the power center so power center next here you need to choose the correct version this one is very important step otherwise your export will not succeed repository and then browse here you give the appropriate information click ok and then you choose which folder it needs to go to in this repository i only have one folder so it will go in there with these options you can actually change your mappings into the power center maplets the whole idea about idq is that you create reusable mappings so that you can use them again and again within power center so for now i'm not gonna check that so let's hit next make sure that the mapping which you want to export has been checked over here and just hit finish so here it will show that it's exporting the objects and it's converting the objects into power center readable objects so that is completed you can check here by clicking on the very right bottom corner and you will see the conversion successful command ran successfully and i would go at the bottom to see the object import completed successfully and there were zero errors hit ok now let's go to power center and see whether that mapping even showed up there or not and as you can see the mapping is there so this completes this particular video of export of mappings from idq to power center and in my next tutorial i would be covering more idq related transformations thanks for watching this video and do check out our website gogeeko.com bye now